today's video, Adam and I have three doors to choose from. Each door has a different Pokemon behind it. To help us decide what door to pick, each door has their Pokedex entry on top of it. Whichever door we choose is the Pokemon we get. And after six rounds of this, we're gonna battle to see who is the Pokemon doors champion. Let's go, boys! Bro, I'm so excited for this video. These are so fun to do. All right, here we go. Round number one, baby. Now, guys, last time we played this, I destroyed the Siren, so I'm gonna do the same thing today. In this first round, on top of these doors, it shows their Pokédex entry, and that is gonna give us our best hint to what is actually behind the doors. So, behind this first door, it says, if anyone were to hurt its pride, it would slash them into two with wings that can cleave through an ice flow. What the heck is an ice flow? Okay, so it has to be a flying Pokémon with wings that are apparently very sharp. I'm thinking Skarmory, maybe? Door number one, a bewitching aroma wraps from its flower. The fragrance becomes those enchanted in a battle. I know who this is! If anybody's ever played Super Smash Bros. before, we all know that this Pokemon has got to be Jigglypuff. I kind of dream about her putting me in that trance, you know? Pokédex entry number two. It raises its tail to sense its surroundings. If you pull on its tail, it will bite. Okay, this to me seems like a snake Pokemon, like a rattlesnake, like it raises its tail. You know how rattlesnakes do that like... You know what I'm saying? Purple door. They show off their Pokeball caps to lure prey, but very few Pokemon are fooled by this. Okay, this is one of the haunted Pokemon. It's Gengar. This is actually a really good Pokemon for fighting, I'm pretty sure. So that's that's number one right now. And door number three says it sleeps in a deep sea trench. If it flaps its wings, it is said to cause a 40 day storm. That one is crazy. It also sounds a lot like Lugia, because if you guys know, Lugia does live in the ocean and obviously it has wings i'm going to lock in the door on the right but before we open it to see what it is let's open up the other ones and see if we were correct there so this one i thought it was skarmory maybe empoleon yo i totally forgot about empoleon that is crazy let's see let's see if this one's better a pokemon that is said to live in a world on the reverse side of ours okay first of all i'm definitely picking this door any pokemon that's not from this world is always a god legendary pokemon i think so this one has has to be Tyranitar. We're locking in. Next up, I had either Arbok or Ekans. Was I right with this one? Pikachu! Oh, no. So let's reveal this one. Okay, let's see what we didn't get. Oh, no. It's Ivysaur. Wait, Ivysaur can put me to sleep? Oh, that doesn't put me to sleep. I read it wrong. Let's move on to Gengar. What? Who is that? I've never seen this mushroom looking donkey Pokemon in my life. Now, get that out of my face. Now it's time to reveal the one that we got, Tyranitar. Oh, oh, it's better than Tyranitar. Let's go. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to rub this in Sire's face. Uh, hello, Mr. Dirt Boy. Let me show you who I'm about to get because I locked in this door. Oh, what, what is that? Oh, you tell me what's in there. What's in there? I can't see. Oh, <laughs> is it something good? Or it's a Lugia. Is it actually? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys, let's move on to round number two and check out these next three doors. We have gray, green, and stinky, poopy brown. The first door says it has foreseen that a world of truth will arrive for people and Pokemon. It strives to protect that future. Okay, so that has to be a psychic Pokemon, right? I'm pretty sure it has to. All right, round number one, I clearly have Alec beat. I got the Giratina while Alec only got a Lugia. Okay, round number two. One is green, one is blue, and one is red. Let's check out the red one. Feeling Charizard, Vladon, Yoho, come on. For door number two, it says if its rage peaks, it becomes so hot that anything that touches it will instantly go up in flames. Oh my lord, that sounds insane. And I can't really think of a green Pokemon that is so hot and spicy. Maybe like a Scope villain, actually. Ooh. When facing a tough foe, it loses flames from its wrists. Its powerful legs let it jump clear over buildings. This is Blaziken, and I know it for a fact that has to be Blaziken. Door number three is brown. It says when its opponent can't be paralyzed, it contorts itself with unexpected speed and flops away. Okay, I don't want a Pokemon that flops away from any battle ever. There's no way I'm picking door number three. All right, next up. It has the power to control time. It appears in Sinnoh region. 
ancient myths as an ancient deity? If it includes the words ancient and power to control time, it's a god Pokemon. Yeah, that one's for sure my choice unless this one tickles my toes a little better. So door number one really feels like a psychic Pokemon to me because it has foreseen like the future of the world and it strives to protect that future. But door number two just seems so sick. It literally can get so hot that it bursts into flames. Inhaling the gas they belch will make you sleep for a week. They prefer unsanitary places. Ew! Ooh, this kind of sounds like me. I'm locking in door number two. Show me something good. But before we open that, let's see what is in door number three. A stunt fist. Ah! <laughs> okay, that is what we did not get. Whatever's behind this door, we'll also not get. So let's see what is behind this one. A QRM! We're going with this one. It has the miss, it has the ancient, and it has the power to control time. It has to be Dialga Wailord. Are you serious? Bro! How is that the Pokedex actually for QRM? I literally had no idea it was going to be that. Okay, we're going. We're going to open that one last. Let's see what we got in green. <laughs> Wait, that's not me. That's a siren. Oh my gosh, look at the shape of the forehead. It's exactly like the siren. Just like... I can see Adam showing me a picture of me. I'm trying to show the resemblance. Now, I see it, Adam. Like, what could you have possibly done to make you show that to the camera? TP to me right now. I'm trying to show that it's the same exact thing. And you'll see when you see it. How is Trubbish? That literally looks nothing like me, idiot. All right, it doesn't matter because I'm not choosing that one. I'm not choosing Blaziken. I'm choosing this one. Dialga! Let's go! Let's go! Ah! I did miss out on a QRAM though, so oh. <laughs> I think it's very doubtful I'm gonna get two legendaries in a row, but I decided to go with this green door. Let's see what is behind the door. Ooh, okay, it's a starter. Adam, don't laugh. That's pretty good. <laughs> you can't laugh at that. Do you want to talk about our matchups currently? It's not looking good, if I'm being honest. Okay, you don't have to show me that. <laughs> Round number three, boys. So far, we got our boys Dialga and Giratina. This is looking sweet. I'm not going to lie. Let's see what doors we got. We got yellow, blue, and pink. All right, boys. Round number three. Let's go. Honestly, this has not been going entirely well in my favor thus far, but I am planning on spinning that around. But let's see, the first door is black. This is the first black door that we've seen. They are many in form and shape, but little is known about this mysterious Pokemon. It's gotta be unknown. It has to be. What else would possibly have that dex entry and be a black door? So for yellow, when spotted, this Pokemon escapes backwards by furiously boring into the ground. What? Bo he borings? What does that even mean? This does not make any sense, and therefore, I already know that's a trash Pokemon. Next up, we have a green door. Groups of this Pokemon migrating in search of water have been mistaken for moving forests. Okay. Moving forests. I mean, forests are trees. It's probably a tree Pokemon. It could be a Trevenant. It crushes its foe under its heavy body, cause fainting. In a pinch, it will withdraw inside its shell. That's gotta be Blastoise. It has to be. Mm, I'm smart. I'm so smart. Next up, we have a green door known as a legendary hero. This Pokemon absorbs metal particles, transforming them into a weapon it uses to battle. Bro! That sounds sick! It literally says it's a legendary hero. Surely, this is gonna be a legendary Pokemon. I'm gonna lock in this last door because it sounds so epic. There's gotta be a legendary somewhere in here or a fusion. We have to spot it out. The only pink Pokemon I know are Mewtwo and Mew, and they're the best! It's total control over the boundaries of space enable it to transport itself to faraway places. Keywords, space. Guys, we already know if it's not from Earth, then it has to be a god or legendary Pokemon. This is literally Thanos with huh? the Infinity stones. So let's see what we missed out on in the first door. It was an unknown, of course. We nailed that one. Something that should resemble a tree? Oh! It's a Torterra, yo! In my opinion, top tier Pokemon design, bottom tier Pokemon strength. Let's see. Let's start with the other one. We are not picking Pikachu. What is this? That looks like an axolotl. I would never have you on my team. I'm sorry. Can I... <laughs> You're trash. I'm pretty sure this is Blastoise. If my Poké knowledge is correct, let's find out. Huh? I'm feeling very good about this last door. Let's see what it is going to be in three, two, one. Boom! A Zacian. That is so sick. Honestly, I forgot about Zacian, but I did kind of nail the idea of a sword because Zacian does use a sword to slash through all of its enemies, and it's going to do the exact same thing against Adam in the final battle. Alec, if you want to open the final door, it's total control over the boundaries of space. Enable it to transform itself into faraway places. That sounds pretty powerful. I'm thinking Mewtwo. Oh, 
It's Mewtwo! Let's go! It's Mewtwo! That is not Mewtwo, you dummy. What's up, Mary? I'm just destroying Alec right now on Pokemon. Alec doesn't even have a single legendary. That is not true! Wait, who's gonna win? Adam! <laughs> Say Siren Stinks. Siren Stinks! You heard it here from Beck Bro Mary. Wow, that was really intimidating, bro. I'm I'm shivering. Round number four, I was been talking! <laughs> All this smack. The only thing that he's gonna be getting. Round number four. We got two red doors of the exact same color. It's kind of a Christmas spirit. It was just Christmas, so so if you guys had a great Christmas, leave a like. I sure did. Alone. All right. Round number four. We got four options. It looks like this is a Halloween edition. We got yellow, black, and orange. Door number one. Said to have expanded the lands by evaporating water with raging heat. Okay. This one, though, I'm feeling hot, spicy, legendary. We're going to start with Alex's favorite color, and we're going to do orange. Let's see what it says. It tosses its enemies around with agility. It uses all its limbs to fight in its own unique style. Cinderace. This could be Cinderace. In the middle, we have anyone who stands beside it becomes refreshed, just as if they were relaxing in a sunny forest. Now, that to me sounds like a Pokemon that would be a phenomenal friend, you know? But it doesn't seem like a Pokemon that I want to go to war with. Oh, here we go. It literally says legendary in the description. This legendary Pokemon can scorch the world with lightning. It assists those who want to build an ideal world. Wait, I'm just now realizing it. This could be a trap. Of course they want me to pick this one. It has legendary in the name. You're not gonna outsmart me today. I know that there's no legendary black Pokemon, so we're definitely not picking this one. On the right, we have a red door that says it has a generous habit of sharing its food with people and Pokemon. So it's always scrounging around for more food. Okay, like, am I behind this door? Is this a joke on me? Because this little sounds exactly like me. I love food. I eat food all the time. I'm a food connoisseur. Let's try this one. This one's yellow. It may plummet from the sky. Plummet from the sky. That means it's not from this earth. If attacked by a Spearow, it will violently shake its leaves. This one has the keyword. It falls from the sky. Everything that's not from this world is a legendary Pokemon. We are locking in this yellow Pokemon. Let's see what's behind the middle door, which we did not pick. Meganium. Oh, darn it. Really wish that I picked that Pokemon. Let's open up the one that we know is nothing. We're gonna go orange here. Boom. Oh, it's Infernape. Do you wanna watch me open this legendary Pokemon, Sire? But I'm in the middle of opening my doors. I just need you to see this. Okay. Ha! I you knew missed out on an Infernape. That is a really good Pokemon. Just shut up. Because I know you wanted me to pick <laughs> the legendary Pokemon Pokedex. That's too easy. And I know it cannot be that one. So I'm choosing the yellow one. Outsmarted, outplayed, loser. Let's see what I didn't get. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Go ahead, get in there, dirt boy. Go say hi to the guy that you missed out on. A legendary Zekrom. Legendary That's fine, because Zekrom. behind this door Idiot. is a Zapdos. <laughs> Great choice, dirt boy. Phenomenal choice. I'll even do the honors and spawn on in for you. There you go. Go ahead, you can catch him now. Oh, look, look, he, ha, he went right to the <laughs> He went right to the Zekrom door. I'm gonna go back to my doors. I'm gonna leave you with that. Finally, what we got for our fourth Pokemon, this one we did not choose. It's a deli bird. Please show me Groudon. Please show me Groudon. Please show me Groudon. Shake it off, dirt boy. Let's just move on to the next round. Now let's move on to round number five. I'm feeling good. Now there's no way Adam can do anything with the sun curd against my team. But now let's check out our next three doors. We have a green door, an orange door, and a brown door. Last time we had a brown door, it was poopy. So I already don't really want to pick this one. All right, round number five. Let's shake that last one off. For this round, we have pink, dark blue, and light blue. Everybody already knows pink Pokemon equal legendary. So I'm going to read that one last. The green door says, some say it can change to an even in more powerful form when battling those who threaten the ecosystem. So this one can change forms and it's green. I was thinking Kecleon. There's also Zygarde. When it bites with its massive and powerful jaws. That's good. Massive and powerful. We love those words. It shakes its head and savagely tears its victim up. Oh, you know what I think this is? I think it's Crocodile. In the middle, we have an orange door that says its fiery breath reaches incredible temperatures. It can quickly melt glaciers weighing 10,000 
thousand ton? That is insane. It is said to have widened the seas by causing downpours. It has been asleep in a marine trench. It widened the seas for a Pokemon to have that much power. It has to be a legendary. I think that's Lunala, but we got to read the last one just in case. Let's see what the brown door has for us with nerves of steel. Nothing can perturb it. It is more agile and active than it appears. Okay, that sounds kind of lame. You guys already know pink equals legendary. It is said that a couple finding this Pokemon will be blessed with eternal love. Yo, it's got to be that the love shaped Pokemon that was in the water. Why am I excited? That Pokemon is trash. How? I don't know. All right, I'm going to lock in the brown door. So let's see what we missed out on in the middle door. It was a... This one is definitely not it. This one is definitely not it. We're going with the middle one. This one has to be a legendary. Let's just get this disc glove out of the way. Yeah. Oh, yes, I knew it. I knew it was a disc glove. Sorry, bud. Please show me correctly up. Please show me correctly up. Are you serious? No, that means this Pokemon is probably trash. But I got to stick to my guts. I'm not going with this one. No, that's actually fine because I'm pretty sure that means that this one has to be legendary. Lunala, 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 Lunala. Oh, we got the legendary whale Pokemon. <laughs> oh gosh, what is it? I just got a Bidoof. What is Adam doing? What on earth is going on in Adam's brain right now? Huh? I'm the one that should be dancing because I just got a god Pokemon. All right, let me see. All right, here we go. The god Pokemon himself. <laughs> I got Bidoof, bro. <laughs> it's the worst Pokemon ever. <laughs> Moving on to the very last round. I'm gonna be honest, boys. We need a little bit of a miracle. Let's see what the first door says. Often mocked for its feeble flopping. Okay, I'm moving on to the next. Why would I ever pick a Pokemon that is often mocked by its feeble flopping? For this final round, we have white, green, green is brown, and yellow. I'm, I'm already liking the white. It eats anything, so it can even live in polluted streams and lakes. No one pays any attention to it. This sounds like Alec. He eats anything. That's true. He can live in polluted streams. Yep. He, he never showers and no one pays any attention to it. That's, I mean, that's pretty obvious. Behind the blue door, it says its arms are rock hard. With one swing, they can batter down its foe. It makes its nests at beautiful beaches. I was thinking Altaria maybe because it's blue. Literally no idea. The leaves that grow on its arms can slice down thick trees. It is without pears in jungle combat. All right. Yeah, that one's Skizzer. I read the comments from the last door's video and you guys were saying that Skizzer is actually one of the best combat Pokemon in this entire game. It is a green door that says it lives in the ozone layer far above the clouds and cannot be seen from the ground. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. Rayquaza. I'm locking in that last door for sure. And it better be Rayquaza or I'm probably toast. Okay, this last one is yellow. It eats anything. Wait, what the heck? Is this the same as this one? What? So right now there's two Pokemon that have the exact same description. This is real. This is throwing my brain for a loop. I can't go with them. I have to go with the middle one, which I'm pretty sure is Skizza. Wow, I did not want that at all. Let's see what this is. Ooh, Swampert, bro. I literally totally forgot about Swampert. Hopefully, this is just a Rayquaza, and we can be very, very happy with that. Let's see what it is in three, two, one. Yes! Let's go! Alec, is your team set? Yeah. You don't sound too happy, but I'm the opposite. I'm definitely really sad with who I got in my last round. There's actually two Pokemon that are two different colors with the same Pokédex description, so I'm going with the middle one. Let's see who I didn't get. No! Yo! Let's go! Look, that didn't make any sense! There's definitely a fusion Pokémon in here somewhere. Okay, let's get rid of this one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I have to lock in this middle one, which is Skizzle! Oh, it's a starter Pokémon. You got Sceptile, bro. That's pretty good. And here we go! Sceptile versus Zacian. You're about to get destroyed. You're not in a good spot here. I'll be honest. How about now? Oh, okay. Very good. I am pleasantly impressed. And Wait, unfortunately, oh my, my gosh, god. Are you even playing? Oh, my Badoof. <laughs> Badoof. He tanks the hit with Badoof. One Pokemon down. Kyogre is a pretty big problem for my team. But make. not too big of a problem for Groudon. Oh! 
No! What a hit by Oh my Kyogre. gosh, that did a lot. Oh my gosh, that did a lot. Holy we gotta finish him off with the origin pulls. Get him out of here. Guacamole. GG's, good night. Holy guacamole. See you. Oh, you missed. You missed. <laughs> oh my gosh. Miss? That's the biggest target I've ever seen. How that is he missing? Dang. I'm gonna make sure that this move does not miss. I don't know if you're gonna have the opportunity to even do so. Never mind, you went first. And you critical yes! hitted me. We hit him with a quick attack, and he gets deleted. Yes, you did critical hit me. I don't appreciate that. And this should be a one hit, if I'm not mistaken. And this should be a GG's for Alec. And I am correct. Alec is gone toast. My team is gonna destroy his team. Like I said at the beginning, Siren is getting embarrassed, tossed around like a little child. How is he attacking twice? We're gonna have to Crunch. bring down the Shadow Claw and no. wipe this fool out. That's Finish a lot of mode. damage. A lot of me. damage. Oh, come on. Mm. That's so close. I got to finish him with the Shadow Claw. Okay. At least we got a lot of damage there. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. I've had a trick up my sleeve this entire time. Who? Oh, wait, what? And here it is. No. Rayquaza, baby. I, you literally just get gwitted on and now you die. And now you die. Look into the camera and say, hi, mom. I suck at Pokemon. Right. Hi, mom. I'm going to destroy Alec. Okay. We gotta finish him here. Oh, no! Adam, this is over. It can't be. Boom. Survive the Skeptile! You had more health! Come on, Skeptile! Boom. All right. Sunkern! This is for all the marbles. Sunkern, I'm about to hit Sunkern. He's not even gonna get KO'd. He's going to die. Dragon is set. Boosh! Let's I go! I was confused. Down goes the Dirge Man! Oh. If you guys enjoy watching Adam cry like a little baby, make sure to leave a like on this video. And if you want to watch him cry again, you probably will if you click on this one right here. So make sure to click it. Click this video.